Welcome back to Bullstack Figure Reviews. Today, we will be looking at Hasbro Epic Hero Series Venom. <coughs> and here is Venom in packaging. The front of the box has a nice comic depiction of Spider-Man. As I mentioned earlier, this is part of Hasbro's Epic Series, which means he is of a 4-inch scale. The top of the box lets us know that there is epic gear inside. This side of the box has a beautiful comic image of Venom and a picture of the action figure along with its accessory. The other side of the box has the same Venom image. The back of the box has Venom holding his accessory. And now with that, let's get Venom out of packaging. And here he is. This Venom, although compact, is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. For the most part, this face sculpt is spot on to Venom. My only observation where Hasbro could have improved this Venom's head sculpt is around the mouth, specifically the way the tongue is just ported into the oral cavity. But for the price point and scale, I can easily overlook the unattractive tongue and mouth configuration. What I do find pleasing is that the tongue is made out of a pliable material that snaps back into place when moved. The paint job done on the eyes is symmetrical. The paint on the rest of the figure is very clean. I really appreciate that Hasbro gave him a beefier body mold as Venom should have. Overall, a delightful figure. For articulation, Venom's head can rotate, it possesses no ball joint, his shoulder does have a ball joint that allows his arm to move in and out and can go all the way around, no bicep cut, single jointed elbows with rotation, nothing at the hand, no diaphragm or waist movement. His leg can kick in and out and go up and down. No thigh cut. Single jointed knees with rotation. No foot articulation. Venom here stands at almost four and a half inches. He looks fantastic with other three and three quarter and four inch figures. Here he is with Epic Hero Series Wolverine and Epic Hero Series Storm and Marvel Legends Series three and three quarter inch Ulick and finally Spin Master Mambat. For accessories, this Venom only comes with a nicely sculpted symbiote blade weapon. According to Marvel.com, Eddie Brock is the first and most famous man to call himself Venom. Eddie Brock was bound to an alien symbiote following his rejection by Peter Parker. Driven by the all-consuming hatred, Venom's sole desire was to kill Spider-Man. Of late, Brock has aligned himself with heroes, seeking to atone for the blind, violent rage of his parasite. And now for my final thoughts. Venom here is a solid figure, especially if you take into consideration his scale and the targeted young demographic. As a collector though, he can slide into most 4-inch scale displays without noticing too much of a drop in quality. I personally am going to enjoy posing him along with my Marvel Universe collection. And now with that, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe.